We are here at the Shanghai Baptist Church here in the outskirts of Quinton, Alabama. This is a rather big one, so I'm probably not going to be able to cover it all, but I can definitely do a quick walk through. We are here in Quinton, Alabama. The Baptist Church right there in the background. A really decent size um, cemetery here. I will try to go slow as I can so it does not blur. Now, I'm not sure about the dates in this one. Let's see, I see a W. A W over here, maybe it's an M, V89, I'm not sure what those stand for at all. This is a rather big place. We are pretty much in the very front which is actually slightly behind the trees at the front let's see 1940 Maybe this one's a little bit older. Possibly. No markings at all on that one. So I'd suggest that that's probably one of the older ones in here. 1889. Just by the quick looks, some of the older ones may be this way. Eighteen eighty seven. Eighteen eighty seven. Eighty five. Eighteen forty one, the upkeep on the place looks pretty good. A restored stone got a big limb down here on this one more than likely this happened during the last set of tornadoes that just came through this area here in Alabama damaged right there Now, this way over here, um, this is just a small portion of this area, Lockwood.
World War One and Two. There's actually zero chance that I can walk all the way through this because I'm looking all the way to the back in the woods in the background there and it looks as if it goes all the way to it huge huge cemetery here the church right there We'll try to cover as much ground as we possibly can here. Some really nice stones in here as well. Possibly see another old one over there. U.S. Coast Guard. World War II, World War II, Korean Vietnam, it's not as old as what I thought it was. huge stone right here it's definitely a place with a lot to cover as I mentioned the tornadoes came through this area which is probably why there is a lot of flowers and other foliage. Navy World War II, all over the place. It actually is currently raining. I've noticed a few uh, recent graves, multiple recent graves, to actually tell you the truth. It is nice and clean, as I mentioned. Vietnam War. It does keep going more and more up the hill. World War II, Navy, there's a lot of nice uh, things in here actually, design wise.
U.S. Air Force. We're a little bit close to the back, so you can actually see the size of this place. Here's a nice little little walk path, a bird bath. A little stand it's actually a very nice quiet big size uh, cemetery more keep going we're gonna go down this left side back down to the beginning and an early assumption is an extremely nice cemetery road goes back into the woods right there don't know what where that goes it's actually surrounded by a decent amount of woods let's see okay that's just the rules and regulations all gates are open here currently, so I am allowed to be here. It is not nighttime. A really decent size, as I mentioned. Up cap is very well. We actually went and stopped at another one about five miles down the road, but there was a wandering dog that didn't seem too happy that we were there, so we jumped over here. You hear the train in the background? This area, definitely old school, has trains old train community <gasps> who's that so Shanghai Cemetery here in Quentin Alabama haunted or not definitely not haunted but very clean and some of the places are very old and of course sorry if it blurred on you it is a little dark tonight and it's been rainy so i did this one in the rain for you and as course or you know what i mean if you enjoy these videos please like share and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified anytime i upload a new video this was your host john rare